So since yesterday we we kind of liked what we created with the the holographic feather, we decided to push it a bit further. And today we're gonna do some we're gonna do a rainbow one and we're gonna use it in studio with the 18 camera setup that we have. So first we're gonna insert the zip tie to fix it. Insert the zip tie on the outer hole and then just slim simply put it back in the other one and you pull it and that's gonna be enough to uh, uh, to make it solid then I'm gonna cut a piece of this holographic I folded it in half so it, it just makes it easier to know where the center is and then you cut it the the way you want, basically. We could probably leave it like that, simply like that, or just cut it a little bit narrower. I like to give it a kind of a feathery shape. Tell me. <laughs> so fancy. <laughs> and, I, and I know it's not, it's probably not even gonna be visible, but I love the arts and crafts class. When I was a kid. Since it's sticky, it's super easy to just like uh, fix it on the zip tie. It's, it's gonna be super solid wherever we, we are. So we're going to use exactly this one on the other side with the 18 cameras and see what it looks like. So my idea was to use a neutral tube. This is a mirror one, a three quarter of a tube. And then we have that rainbow feather on top. So if, if you see colors, that's because of this beautiful feather. You can find these holographic sheets in arts and crafts stores or on Amazon for a very decent price. But make sure they are sticky as it's much easier this way. The cap that I'm using is a black half one from lightpaintingtubes.com. I use this one as I need the light to go through it to reach the feather. The zip tie can also be found on my online store, but for reference, the size is 4.8 mm wide and 18 cm long. But don't limit yourself to holographic papers. There are so many things that can be put on top of the tubes. I want to see your ideas. Feed us with what you have in mind. Let's continue to grow this amazing art, this amazing tribe. <laughs> 